I am going to start with Skip on this one, Thank though. Thank you. Should Bonds be in? Barry Bonds should have been in the Hall of Fame at his first opportunity. And allow me to start this, even though you are a Hall of Fame voter, because I did cover Barry Bonds for three years in the Bay Area. There was nothing more magical. Didn't you go to the ballpark almost every night? Every night. <laughs> I went on the road with them through all the home right. run shapes. You did. Those are some of the greatest moments of my career because I've never seen anything quite like that. I've seen Tom Brady do what he did in overtime, but, but this was... This is the hardest thing, single thing to do in sports, and he did it the best that it's ever been done. That's hit a baseball consistently. When he would see maybe two good pitches a night, hittable pitches a night, and, and he would hit them as hard as you could hit them, and it would either hit the wall or go over the wall. And allow me to tell you why I believe he's not in the hall. Obviously, he resorted to using PEDs. In his mind, I believe he had to because he watched what Sosa and McGuire did in the, the summer of love, 1998. Who were the players that he was. That is correct. And that is correct. those two dudes, whether baseball wants to acknowledge it or not, they mm -hmm. saved baseball that year. It, it was huge, and I covered that whole chase. I, I was there every single day, all the way down the stretch. To me, Mark McGuire wasn't a Hall of Famer without PEDs. Barry Bonds, even without PEDs, without. is a Hall of Famer. Yes. Now, let me tell you about covering Barry Bonds on a daily basis. He's just a bad guy. One of the worst guys I've ever covered. I don't like Barry Bonds as a guy, yeah. and I don't care. It should not matter. It should not. Because, listen, on a daily basis, Barry Bonds went out of the way to be a bad guy to the media. He did not like us. And most of us did not well, not like it. We despised him. I, I wouldn't go so far for me to say as I despise it because I was in awe of him as a baseball player. But on a daily basis, he either wouldn't speak to us, which is breaking rule number one for media because you don't get access, so you can't write your story. You don't. Your editor is saying, where are the Barry Bonds quotes? Well, he wouldn't speak. Well, you, you get him to speak. Well, if you got him to speak, he would go out of his way to humiliate or embarrass you or insult you or all, all true you know it, it was just I, I <laughs> clashed with him one day he was mad at me and he came up I was just standing in the middle of the clubhouse and he came up in behind me and grabbed my arm in his vice grip and just held my arm and just stared right into my eyes for like probably 10 seconds it seemed like two minutes and I just looked at him like and <laughs> you know like are you trying to Remember intimidate me I'm not afraid I, I got to tell you I'm Some not column afraid. And just yeah, didn't like okay didn't I like. don't know what it was huh. I have no idea because I was mostly in his corner right hmm. he was just by nature not a nice guy hmm. well so what because when he had that little bat in his hand it was a little bat and he yeah. choked up on it I've never seen anything like this he was simply the greatest hitter in the history of baseball and the greatest player in the history of baseball. He won eight gold gloves. Eight. Didn't have a big arm, but it was a pretty accurate arm. But still, in, in his heyday in Pittsburgh, he could steal bases. and Legit it, five yeah, tool. Legit five tool. I, the, that fifth tool, that arm is just okay. Right. He, plays, okay. he plays shallow. I know, shallow, I know. I got you. I, I, I am with you. Try him if you to want compensate. to. To right. compensate. Right. If you look at the, I don't have time to list the records, but we're talking about on-base percentage, on-base plus slugging, slugging. It's just, it's simply this. He was the first hitter who ever had the advantage over the pitcher because yeah. we've always seen the pitcher have the right. advantage until Barry Bonds came along. Yep. And he would stand in there and just spit on those pitches. You know, if, if it missed by an inch, he would just... What, was, what was the year he had 225 walks? Yeah. Is that what it was? Yeah. It's, like... just, it's just out. He shattered Babe Ruth's on-base percentage yeah. because you, you just couldn't get the man you out. Sneak it by him. Yeah, and after a while... They would walk him, and then they'd say, no, we can try to pitch to him. And he okay. would literally see two pitches a night. He would crush those pitches. That was in that, especially in that 2001. Whew. I've never seen anything like it. So to me, I don't care what he was off the field. At least he didn't, you know, he didn't commit any crimes that I'm aware of. So was he not a good guy? Not a good guy. Belonged in the hall from day one. I'm sorry. And by the way, you can give you a man all the PEDs you want. But you still have to make contact, man. Eye right? hand coordination, Ooh. and I totally agree. So why didn't the other guys that were using PEDs put up these numbers? Good question. That's because they weren't they good enough, good. Shannon. Exactly. You just said it. Skip, if you look, let's just take his first eight years. Mm -hmm. First eight years, he had two MVPs, three gold gloves, three silver sluggers. <laughs> That's what he had in his first eight years. 
in, in that Hall of Fame. In uh, most of those, in how many years? Yeah, he had seven, seven, years, seven years in Pittsburgh. Because his yeah. first year in San Francisco, mm -hmm. he won the MVP. Okay. So that's in his first eight and, years. And he was still skinny Barry at that point. <laughs> his first 11 years. Yeah. When they said, they, because everybody, the timeline that everybody mm -hmm. wants to jump on is around 99. Is when, after the 98 yep. season, 99. So he had eight gold by uh, 99, all before 99, mm -hmm. eight gold gloves. Seven, seven silver sluggards and three MVPs. Is that a Hall of Fame? Yes. If Done. He does, he, Over. If he just takes his best, I'm going home. I don't mm. want to even play no more. Y'all y'all can't get me out anyway. He's a Hall of Famer. <laughs> now, we want to go back because if, if, I, if, I, if I follow this closely, steroids were illegal in baseball. So in other words, you're going back to grandfather something in That's true. to punish a guy for a crime that wasn't a crime when he actually committed it. If he committed it. Now, he didn't lie. He said, I... Hey, what they gave me I put is on. I put on. Most people would, at that time, Skip, steroid mm -hmm. was a pill or you put it in your butt. Right. Balco came up with an ingenious way. We can rub it on your skin and get the same effect or to do the gummies. Mm -hmm. So he didn't lie. They, if they told him it was flaxseed oil, I don't look. I ain't going to get into all that, what he, what he knew yep. and what he didn't know. He said, I put, my trainer gave me this. Mm -hmm. I put it on. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. But to all of a sudden now, to go back and like, oh, he did steroid. Well, they should have had it in the, in the bylaws mm -hmm. that if you do these illegal drugs, you're not getting in the hall. Now, because he was a jerk, and he was, because yeah. I had a buddy of mine ask him for an autograph. He told my buddy, he said, why would I give you an autograph when I can somebody pay me $2,500 for this <laughs> if I autograph this <laughs> That's Barry. Yeah. Yeah, so, there you so, go. Mm -hmm. But I ain't got no problem with that. I saw him in the All-Star game. He's unbelievable. I used to watch him when he's going through this chase. Imagine this. Look, Skip, you said Tom Brady. Put this in perspective. Let Tom Brady, I want you to have Tom Brady go the entire game and he doesn't throw a pass. And he get two chances to throw the game winning touchdown from 25 right. yards out. Mm -hmm. I want Steph Curry to go the entire game. Mm -hmm. Clay Thompson to go the entire game. That's true. And I want them to hit a game winning shot After from 25. Mm -hmm. And they don't take a shot the entire game because that's what they asked Barry Bonds to do. Wow. He correct. would see one pitch. Buck Showwater says, you know what? I'm so afraid of this man. I'm a walker run in. With the bases loaded. You walk I'm a walker run in. I refuse to pitch to you. And it was a smart move, too. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yep. He got Jeff Kent uh, MVP, mm -hmm. too. He did. He, he did. Or as I call him, <laughs> Jeff Kent. <but> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is now, now, my brethren, this is where they've gone astray, and I'm one of them, but they really have on this because a lot of stuff, Skip, you talked about is so true. And this is what I don't get. You know, in order for Barry Bonds to win those seven MVPs, the writers have to vote for him. It's not a... They voted for him. They voted for him then. during that time. So despite That's how he point. treated us, yeah. okay. we looked at the numbers and what he was doing, and we couldn't deny it. We couldn't deny it. But now... Even though you suspected it. Right. It was always out oh, there. Okay. But we voted for him, Skip. And now for the ultimate... Now, I do believe he will get in before his time is up because what the Hall of Fame has turned into is the Sympathy Baseball Hall of yeah, Fame. that's true. Because we just saw Edgar Martinez. Writers didn't vote for him for nine years. Yeah, it was his right. last year. Oh, yeah, Edgar belongs in. This is where we've gone with this. Mike where Mussina? A, where Mike Mussina averaged 11 no. wins a year. 11 and never won a Cy Young. Never won a Cy Young. Oh, come on. How are, you, how are you a Hall of Famer? I don't know. But this is where we are. Now, here's the other part. How are the writers with a straight face? And, and I did. I voted for Bonds. I voted for Sosa. I voted for uh, Sheffield, Clemens, and Mariano. I, those were my five votes. Okay. Okay? How can you keep Bonds out when you uh, voted Pudge in on his first try mm -hmm. of, of Arm Rodriguez is in the Conseco book. Conseco didn't say, I heard he was doing it. He said, I used to inject him. What's, was the Conseco book not the Bible or gospel? Yes. Hey, I, I also covered the Rangers. You knew they were the they original that. steroid nest. Yes. It the whole started in Texas, and he was a byproduct mm. of that. And, and so Pudge gets in on his first try. first try. I was in Detroit when Pudge was there, and he lost 40 pounds in the offseason. Mm -hmm and said it was by walking after dinner and eating salads. <laughs> That's what he said when we asked him, where did all the weight go? Mike Piazza. Has there been nothing but rumors about Mike Piazza forever? Mike Piazza's in the Hall of Fame. 
Jeff Bagwell. Jeff forever. Bagwell, no. forever. No. Mm -hmm. They put Jeff Bagwell in. Why are you doing this to Bonds and Clemens? I, and, and they and Sosa, they just do they do not like so. He had six hundred and. To work at. So I, 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 I know the white Sosa now. So I don't what, know what, 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 what a black Sosa. What I don't know who he is. is. That's why they can't put but him in. But Jeff feels the same way. He used to work he's out a, with Bob. Missing person. <laughs> But, it, but I, 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 agree, I agree with you, yeah. because here's the argument, Skip, and Rob makes a very compelling point. Even when you suspected he was doing it, you were so in awe of what he was doing mm -hmm. that you said, we can give the MVP to no one else other than him. Yeah. Now it's time to give him his ultimate validation, uh, yeah. to send him to his Mecca, which is the Hall of Fame, where all the great players go. He's like, nah, 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 we voted for you to get all these MVPs, but now, now we can really, you should have done it. If you thought he was doing it then, vote somebody else for the MVP. Uh, absolutely. But but ultimately, I think there's a punishment kind of thing that they're going through. And they're going to wait to the final hour probably. Because next year is Jeter, so they probably won't do it. No. You know what I mean? They probably won't do it next year. That's I want to know what they're going to do with David Ortiz. Well, That's what I want to see. I already because told he's been, he got, got, hey, got, they pretend like he... And like gonna, he, nothing happened. Him I, and Manny I, Ramirez were busted. Hey, I know he won them MVPs and he was unbelievable, but I want to see what they do with A.M. David Ortiz. Mm -hmm. You got to do it. It's either you let people in or nobody gets in, and they've it's let too late. people in. Let people I know. In. It's too late now. Put Barry in there. Eight gold gloves, 12 silver sluggers, seven MVPs. How, how can you have a Hall of Fame without Barry Bonds? You don't. Seriously. And, and they know that, they, and, that, that people won't take you, it seriously. If, if I